and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ayana. I'm a licensed massage therapist. I own a spa here in Florida. And in this video, we're talking about how to keep boundaries with your client. This is gonna be a great video for new massage therapists, massage students, or even seasoned massage therapists who struggle with keeping clear and consistent boundaries with your client. Before we get started, just go ahead and like and subscribe to this video. I definitely appreciate it. And yeah, we'll just get right into it. All right, so the first thing that I want to talk about is our time. So something that I teach my students is that our time is one of the most valuable things that we have to offer. What I want you to think about is what is acceptable in terms of giving you a notice for cancellations or for rescheduling an appointment. So let me give you an example of this. In my business, I believe in paying my contractors and employees for the time that they set aside to do an appointment. So if a client uh, cancels less than 24 hours in advance, I have to make sure I can pay my contractors and employees. I have to make sure that I can pay them even if someone cancels. I require every single client to have a card on file in case of cancellations. And when they book an appointment, whether that be online or over the phone, they are either read the cancellation policy or they have to read the cancellation policy themselves, and especially because we do travel massage. So when we do an hour session, it's really not an hour. It's an hour and 30 minutes because it takes time to get prepared and travel exclusively to that client. So what I want you to do is set your cancellation policy, enforce it, be strict with it, no exceptions. Just think in the mindset of if you had uh, employees or contractors, how would you want them to be treated? That's the same way you should be treating yourself too. Okay, so the next type of boundary we're gonna talk about is a little bit less tangible than what your cancellation policies are. Kind of relational boundaries. In this field, we know that sometimes subjects can come up during our session and we may feel uncomfortable. We may feel like we don't wanna talk about politics or other you know, subjects that may cause a disagreement. It is great if you can find a way to you know, listen without giving your own personal opinions about certain matters. So different massage therapists are gonna feel you know, different ways about this. I know massage therapists who have no problem getting into the nitty gritty um, you know, stuff, you know, real stuff with their clients during their session. Um, personally, that's not my speed. I, I can listen without actually giving, you know, my own opinions about certain things because I like to keep a professional um, distance. Yeah, so this is a tricky subject because there are some clients where, you know, I can talk to them on a more uh, relational level, but then there are some clients where I just wouldn't even go there and just keep it strictly professional. So really think about how you conduct yourself during your sessions because it can make or break, you know, if someone stays with you or not, um, especially clients of the opposite sex. Let's just be real. Um, there are some clients who might try to flirt with you or try to, to know you on a more personal level, but how are you going to handle that if you're not trying to go there. Okay, so let's talk about something that's a little bit more tricky as well. So I think it's safe to say that we've all had experiences where we didn't feel comfortable with a male client. What happens if a client, you know, gets an erection or, or acts inappropriately or does something that you don't feel comfortable with? What are going to be your procedures for that? So for me, um, I've been in those situations as well. You know, it took me a while to really like figure out how to navigate situations like that. But something I can tell you that can help is that you can, you know, at any point during the session, you can stop. You can stop the session, exit the room. They probably know why, or you can communicate something like, I think this is gonna be the end of our session. Um, and then you can step out the room if your client does something that seems inappropriate and then you can ban them as a client and there doesn't have to be a full discussion about this and it's it's just so so important to enforce um 
to interact this way, to have like a clear boundary for what you will and will not accept because what you allow will happen over and over again because this has personally happened to me before. Let's go a little bit deeper. I'll give you an example of this. So because I've been in these situations before, I now have developed clear boundaries, especially with my male clientele. So if I have a male client, um, especially a new client, I let them know that I do not allow them to take their boxers off or you know their underwear off. I do not massage the inner thigh. And then when I uh, have male clients, I do have an extra blanket. So in case it does happen that they get an erection, I can't even see it <laughs> because there is extra um, draping and extra like actual blanket. So that's something I do to enforce my you know boundaries my professional distance between me and male clients and i hope that helps you when it comes to navigating how to interact with male clients and of course everyone will have you know different rules about this but this is just me being like real and upfront with y'all that that's just something that i enforce when it comes to male clients Something I also want you to know is that when it comes to setting your boundaries, whether they are physical boundaries, emotional boundaries, social boundaries, monetary boundaries, is that, you know, the client therapist relationship goes both ways. So yes, you want clients to book with you, but you also want to be able to choose your clients as well. So if you have a client that you don't enjoy working with, you feel uncomfortable around, or you just, just, it just doesn't feel good, the energy is not right, you can cancel that relationship at any time. You really can. And I think the most eloquent way to go about it is just letting them know that you are no longer available. And I've personally done this with clients before. And I think a lot of massage therapists may be afraid to do this because they don't want to turn away money. But I just want you to know that there's no amount of money that's worth compromising your comfort or compromising your professionalism because it's an energy exchange. It goes both ways. Um, so yeah, so those are my tips for setting boundaries. Definitely let me know what you think down below. This is definitely a conversation starter because we're talking about ethics. We're talking about ethically, how do you want to conduct your business and conduct yourself within your business? Um, so yeah, leave a comment below. Let's start a conversation like this. Um, look at the description box because I always put some really good information there. And I look forward to seeing you at the next video. Stay well. Bye.